is now considered a felony here in Louisiana. The Max Groover Act, named after the freshman who died after a night of drinking at Phi Delta Fraternity, aims to stop hazing altogether. Our Randy Ayala has the story. Colin Turner pledged Omega Psi Phi Fraternity at ULM. He says being a part of the organization has helped him navigate life. Really getting taken care of by a lot of older men and they showing you how the things go. Although he didn't experience it himself, he says he's heard hazing horror stories. Young people, just like himself, trying to join a frat but losing their life in the process. Drown somebody and making them drink too much or something like that, yeah, it's kind of rough. LSU freshman Max Groover was a victim of hazing. His death sparked lawmakers to make serious changes to the hazing laws here in Louisiana. Camille Courier, vice president of student affairs at ULM, says the old law just wasn't harsh enough. It's really a slap on the wrist. It was a $10 fine up to a $100 fine for hazing. Groover died last fall after a night of binge drinking at Phi Delta Fraternity. The new law aims to put an end to hazing altogether. Offenders caught hazing now face up to five years in prison and a $10,000 fine. Under the new legislation, you can also be held accountable if you witness the hazing and don't report it, potentially facing up to five years in prison or a $2,500 fine if someone dies. The new law creates a criminal offense. Schools are also responsible for educating students about hazing. West Cavan says Tech's motto is see something, say something. And we have posters throughout campus. Turner agrees with the new harsher penalties for hazing. He says no one should die trying to get into a fraternity or sorority. That is somebody's life and they put it in danger. Louisiana is the 11th state to make hazing a felony, and it doesn't matter if the victim willingly participated. Offenders will still be held accountable.